Hello, welcome to the presentation of GOKU's participation in WAT 2020. My name is Dong Zhe Wang. The co-author is Amar Tun. We are both from Rakuten Institute of Technology, Singapore. Today, I will firstly give a brief introduction of our participation in WAT 2020. And secondly, I will illustrate our models in use and the experimental setups. And then I will compare the experimental results of the base transformer model and the multilingual pre-training model in sentence level for JPL task. And lastly, I'll compare the experimental results of the hierarchical transformer model versus multilingual pre-training model in document level for the BSD task. Our team with the team ID Goku20 participated in GPU pattern task for Japanese to English, Korean, Chinese, bi-directional translation. We also participated in the document level business scene dialogue task for Japanese to English bi-directional translation. Note that this task is newly added in this year WAT. And thirdly, we also participated in the mixed domain task for English to Myanmar bi-directional translation. But unfortunately, this mixed domain task is not included in the final evaluation this year due to the few submissions. In terms of the models in use, we firstly have a base transformer model applied for GPO task in sentence level. We secondly have a hierarchical transformer model, HAN, hierarchical attention network applied for the BSD task in document level. And lastly, we have the multilingual pre-training model, which is fine-tuned based on the MBAR25 model for GPO and BSD task in both sentence level and document level in MT. We use the MBAR25 models in a teacher forcing manner where the pre-trained MBAR ways were firstly loaded, then our student models were built upon the Bitex data, feeding the source language and target language into the pre-trained encoder and decoder for fine-tuning. Here is our experimental setup. In terms of data preparation, we didn't use any external resources other than GPC, Japanese Pattern Corpus, for GPO task. However, due to the limited number of training documents of BSD Corpus, we implement Japanese to English Subtitle Corpus, GESC Corpus, as supplementary resources for the BSD task. We pre-process for the transformer models using pre-tokenization and tokenization for the base transformer model and hierarchical transformer model. We pre-tokenize for Japanese, Chinese, Korean, and English. We also applied byte pair encoding BPE-based sentence piece model for tokenization. And finally, we obtained vocabulary size of 100K for GPO task for the base transformer model and vocabulary size of 32K for BSC task of the hierarchical transformer model. For the pre-processing of MBAR fine-tuning model, we have sentence, sent, single sentence and three sentence segments used for the GPU and BSD task respectively. We use the same 250K BP vocabulary as a pre-trained MBAR25 model and know that no pre-tokenization needed for the pre-processing of MBAR fine-tuning models. Starting from this slide, I will show you a series of experimental results we achieved on the GPU task and BSD task. Firstly, we compare the experimental results of base transformer model versus multilingual pre-training models. As you can see in the results chart, we observe that the MBAR models outperform the transformers models in 5 out of 7 language pairs where the maximum margins can reach as much as 1.3 blue scores, that is, for the Japanese to Chinese and Japanese to Korean models. In addition, we also compare the hierarchical transformer model performance versus multilingual pre-training model performance on BSC task in document level. As you can see, under single model decoding setting, we observe that the MBART doc plus model could lead far ahead the HAN joint model, that is the best performed HAN model 
by 5.7 and 4.3 blue scores in the BSD English to Japanese and Japanese to English tasks, respectively. It indicates that the advantage of pre-training are substantial in BSD tasks. In terms of ablation study, we compare the experimental results of the sentence level AMT versus document level AMT on BSC task. As a result, we found that the context information led to significant performance gains in both HAN and MBART fine tuning models for both directions. Based on this result chart, we observed that the MBART document level model simply surpassed the MBART sentence level model by using additional Japanese to English subtitle corpus GESC, where over one blue gains were obtained for both directions. In this slide, we show you some examples whose translation quality was improved by considering context in BSC task. For example, we can observe that the MBART doc plus model can translate as being good as it's going well in English. However, the HAN base plus model, which is a sentence level AMT model, can only translate as being good into am good in English, which is incorrect. More details can be found in this example. In overall, we compare our experimental results with other submissions, and we found that our best results obtained by the MBART 25 fine tuning model achieved second place for both directions in blue score on the WAT BSD task leaderboard. However, considering human evaluation, we won the first place on the leaderboard. So based on these two results chart for automatic metric evaluation and human evaluation, we can conclude that our submission is more robust than the other two submissions. Thank you for your attention.